it's been hard because I always feel like it's my fault that there's like kids in the class that um like I guess don't believe and then I want to try to do something but then I get nervous and I don't know what to do so I start freaking out and I feel like it's my fault that I can't do anything. There has been some times where I think of like questions that I feel like go against God and then so I ask my mom like one of them was like why are we supposed to not worry if um isn't that kind of like not empathetic and she said it's because God will take care of it God will do all that for you you shouldn't worry about it and then that made sense so every question I have I can I consider that they're just things that God will take care of and then I get into this zone where I kind of block everything out and then I just start crying and I just start thinking and thinking and thinking about the bad things and I block out the good things and then I forget about the good things. So when my mom says, what are the good things? I say, I don't remember because I'll be thinking about the bad things and then the bad things take over my mind. But then I finally do let God in and it makes me happier. And I think, well, Jesus went through way more pain. He was crucified. He died, he got whipped, he got brutally murdered. So, and then that makes me feel better, and so I keep going. When he died on the cross, he was the only person who could possibly do it, and that's the reason God sent him down, was to sacrifice um, for everybody. And like a lot of songs say, and a lot of people say, is that he was heaven's perfect lamb. So he came down and he sacrificed himself such as other people would sacrifice lambs to like have their sins cleared. They had Jesus come, or God had Jesus come and he would, um, he came down and he died for our sins so that we would, ha would be able to join God.